Hi guys, I want to show you how to add text to a JPEG file in Word. Word is the best place to do it if you don't have any editing programs and most of us out there have Word. The first thing I'm going to do is open Word and go to a new file and then the file I'm working with is a horizontal picture so right now the very first thing I want to do is click on page layout go to orientation and then go to landscape so that it's got the horizontal instead of vertical. Next thing I'm going to do is import the picture that I'm going to add to. So I need to go to insert and then picture right here and then I need to find the file that I have downloaded. Hopefully you guys remember where you put your file. So I'm going to go ahead and get mine. Chances are you're going to be working with this particular one because that's I'm making the video for you guys today. So you bring it into your program, and there we go. Now, the files I've made are exactly the size of a sheet of paper, so we need to make this bigger. I mean, you don't have to, but you might as well because you can use the get the most out of it. So what we're going to do is the first thing we have to do is right-click th this, and we have to choose text wrapping, and then we have to choose behind text that turns it into a background now that we have it the computer thinking it's a background we can go ahead and make it large as large as the piece of paper what I'm doing is I'm dragging these corners you can see the little fake sheet of paper that I'm working with see how it goes over the edge I'm just gonna back it up a little so they line up nicely go down here and do my last little move Okay, so it's pretty much the size of the sheet of paper Okay, halfway done. We've got the background where it belongs. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the text. There's a couple ways to do this, but I'm going to show you the easiest way. What you want to do is click on Insert again, and this time we're going to go all the way over here to Text Box. Now, depending on your version of Word, it might look a little different, but somewhere on there you've got this thing down here that says Draw a Text Box. Okay, down here draw a text box. So I click that. Now my computer is ready for me to put a space where we're going to add my information. So I want it in this obvious space right here under the logo. I'm going to make a square. It's okay if it goes over the graphics because we can we can fix that in a minute. Okay, I have my box. Now what I'm going to do is type my information. I already had it typed. If you have to, you might need to highlight your text and right click it and go to sorry I did this wrong let's see here okay wait now I have a box in a box hold on okay right click the text oh I better not okay I better not copy and paste it so I write my name And then I want to add my phone number. And I want to add my email. Or your website, or your consultant ID, whatever you want to add. Okay, now, if you have it cut off like I do, you can highlight your text and then you can right click it and go to paragraph and we're going to format the paragraph we're going to tell it not to put such a big space and right here I think that's going to work it almost worked <laughs> right click it again paragraph it was at one um, line spacing single that that kind of worked anyway you can mess around with those paragraph settings I'm gonna make it a tiny bit bigger okay now you can see all my information okay next thing I want to do is stick my mouse on the edge right click and choose format that's not right um, I got to make sure I choose the box. Right click it. Okay, format text box. See this? Okay, now I just need to go here in color 
choose no color. Go here in the fill, choose no color, and then push OK. And what it does is it takes the border off and it takes the background off. So now I can see my little bird and I can see all of my email and so on. If I want to move it again, I can click it once. And I'm going to use my little arrows to move it down a little bit. Okay, perfect. If I like it, if it's totally ready to go, we just need to duplicate it. So we put our mouse on one of the blue things, right click it, choose copy, and then do control V for paste. And that, there's my new box. So I just move it over. Whoops. Hold on a second. Okay, I'm going to copy it from the middle box here. Let's see. Okay, it has to be the little... This part is always hard. Okay. Put it on the edge there. Copy. Paste. There we go. Get my little plus sign thingy, move it around. There we go. And I can do Control V again. Except it's not in a very good place. Move it down a little bit. By the way, I highly recommend using Photoshop. <laughs> this is not my favorite. Um, anyway, we've got our next one here. Get the little plus sign. Move this one clear over here. So we get the idea. We can nudge them around if we need to. But there's your file. And then you can save the whole thing in Word. And then you know, change it for your future teammates or if you change your phone number later or whatever. That is how you do it. And then once you print it, you can cut them into thirds or you can cut up your business cards or whatever you've decided to do. So hopefully that will get you guys going, at least for now, until you learn a little bit more about editing photos. Thank you. Bye-bye.